Lex, thank you. Tonight we're learning new information in the case of two men found dead in a van in Newport News. Now this was back in January. Yeah, prosecutors showed video in court today that led to a change in charges for one of the suspects. Ten of your sides, Aaron Kelly, was in the courtroom and heard this emotional testimony. Aaron. And several people in the courtroom were crying today. One of the witnesses fought back tears and stared at one of the defendants as he talked about a day he described as war. The van that police found crashed off Wickham Avenue in January ended up that way on purpose. That's according to the driver of the van who was in court at a double murder hearing Monday. He said two men he had picked up tried to rob him, Loratio Dantzler and Stephen Hayes. He testified that after Dantzler hit him on the head with a gun, he crashed the van and took off. The man said he saw the suspects going through the pockets of two other passengers, Cadre Gray and Quinton Kelly, before hearing gunshots. Police found the bodies of Gray and Kelly inside that van. Another man who said he was a private investigator testified that he happened to be nearby in his surveillance vehicle and started recording video after the crash and stayed on the phone with 911 until police arrived. Newport News police say after officers encountered Dantzler, he fired his gun and wouldn't put it down, and then an officer shot him. He recovered at the hospital. Now, Dantzler is charged with first-degree murder, attempted robbery, and gun charges. Hayes' murder charges were withdrawn. His attorney says that the video that was actually shown in court today shows that Hayes left prior to the gunshots. He faces attempted robbery and gun charges himself. Live in Newport News tonight, Aaron Kelly, 10 on your side.